Du, 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 du. Ba-dum-bum, ba-dum-bum. Rockers, welcome back for all your newbies. Welcome if this is your first time and for the ones that returning pretty much appreciate it. Thank you. Um taking my normal Sunday ride, my depressant ride, and um meant to do a video today then my GoPro decided to go to sleep so most of the footage never came to life but I did keep one footage well not a footage but just a small clip of what I'm about to talk about and it is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of you experience maybe not but I panic when my bike decided to go to sleep on me and what I mean by that it just basically cut off in the middle of me riding on the back road coming back from the Harley Davidson it just went go to sleep and yeah it sucked and thankfully when it did cut off the people that were right behind me did not send me to La La Land because that could have easily happened and I panicked just a little bit because for one I did not expect it I mean it's for crying a lot I the bike just came out of the Harley Davidson for after the thousand hours and here it is it cut off on me like what the hell right so deep breath yeah got a little frustrated and when it got home safely after that still didn't know why it cut off I did have a few codes that uh, up to this point I still not able to identify what those codes means because there is nothing online related to those codes so uh, happened about a week ago the bike seemed to be running perfectly fine so I'm not really sure why it did what it did so but take a look at this clip no no signal light okay oh here we go come on guys it's on the other side move 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 come on Jesus That was doing fucking <laughs> Yeah, so um as you can see I was like blah, 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 blah. I didn't know what to do. How do you turn this damn thing back on? That's what was running through my mind. And um, I was able to get it back running and took a deep breath and processed what 
effing just happened. I don't know anything about the Spolster S cutting off like that. No, I do know about one situation that after you go over 150 miles per hour, the motorcycle cut off. Uh, it could be, the number could be higher than that, but that is a safety feature that Harley Davidson put in, in the software. I'm sure you can cut that off, but now that I'm gonna go over 100 miles per hour on this bike, thank you very much. I like myself for to do crazy stuff like that. And um, I think the most I had taken this bike is like probably almost 90. And doing 90, not on the road mode, not on the rain mode, but on the sport mode, this thing is zooming. So I had a, you know, back to reality. I had to slow down a little bit because um, my leg was shaking a little bit there. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. Um, and got home safe. But anyway, so either I did not shift gears properly or there was a malfunction on the bike that I still don't know. I'm gonna go with it's my fault, but thank goodness uh, nothing happened. Nobody hit me like I said back, and I was very able to get it all together on the pressure. And I panicked a little bit. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be like, no man, I got this, yo. I, you know, I didn't panic. I knew what to do. No, hell no, I didn't know what the hell to do. It's almost like you're jumping on an airplane or, you know, you don't get your gear, you want to go skydiving and your gear doesn't come up and you're like, holy crap, that's not coming off. And then finally, when you almost about to hit ground, that's when it comes off. Well, you know, that's almost what I feel like it happened to me. So, um, no fear. Because I have no fears when every time I get on this bike. And that's something I want to touch on. You know, do you guys fear when every time you get on the bike? I don't. I overcome the fear a long time ago. You know, I'm able to ride this bike very comfortable. A lot more comfortable than I did with on the 48. Um, just because this bike is so light that I'm able to do, you know, things that I, I wasn't able to do on the 48. That being said, I have nothing but respect for this bike and motorcycles in general. I'm not gonna go out there and be all stupid. I'm not gonna do any freaking wheelies or any like, you know, I'm sure there's thousands of videos out there on YouTube, people doing the nonsense thing. God bless those that do it, but not this guy. Um, so, yeah, that's one of those situations that, um, Man, I sure hell did panic a little bit, but I am so grateful that I was able to act very quickly. And one thing I realized out of that scenario there is that um, I have not developed my muscle memory when things just decide to just happen, you know? And something I'm still working on on things like what if this happened what if that happened what should i do when this thing what should i do if this guy make the wrong turn is he gonna hit me what would i go you know things that you do learn when you get your license when you get the safety class that everybody should and i highly recommend everybody go through um you learn to do things but you don't apply to those things until actually happens to you like it did to me um so it took me a little bit i took a deep breath and you know all right you know you're dumb dumb next time ship gear properly right anyway i want to know if anything like that ever happened to you guys did you guys panic just want to know just leave me a comment do any of you got fear when you get on the bike 
you know. Um, the only fear that I have is that uh, I, I don't necessarily think it's fear. It just, you know, f having fear, it, it, it just makes you aware of all the things that can happen to you on your motorcycle. Yeah, motorcycle is dangerous, blah, blah, blah. I get all that, you know. Um, especially for a, a new rider like me. I mean, it's coming to be almost a year now that I'm riding a bike, you know. Um, you know, like I said, I feel very comfortable riding the bike, you know. And I get, you know, riding a motorcycle is not for everyone. Um, I just love doing it. I love riding. I love, you know, letting loose and just be me, you know? Because that's the thing. What if this happened? What would you do? You know? Is the other person coming on the opposite traffic? Are they looking at you? Make you slack notice. Do the look the horn, you know? Thank God for the horn. You know, and I don't do it to be annoying. Sometimes it's, if I see somebody on the phone, I'm going to honk that freaking horn. I'm going to let you know, hey, homie, I'm right there. You better watch it, you know. But anyhow, so that's all I have for today, guys. I just want to take a, you know, check in and I hope everybody's having a good week, weekend whenever you decide to watch this video I hope everybody have the blessed day thank you for tuning in you want to subscribe and hit the like button and remember if you're not rocking you are definitely slacking peace out <laughs>